The Compass interface has been developed to support marine experts in search for resources over the web in more richer and effective way. The interface enables the user to define the query with use of three different search engines. So firstly, the query is defined in a discovery tab. If we look at the box on the right side on the of the window, we can see that our query is currently empty. So let's start defining our query. We can start by selecting concepts within the marine domain. Uh, I can move the window around our interface as much as I want. I can also enlarge it to the size which is more comfortable for me to navigate in. Let's first have a short look at what this specific search window offers. So firstly, this window contains a set of marine domain specific concepts which are mutually interconnected with use of these lines which are color coded. So each color represents a different type of relations. We can have a closer look by expanding a menu by clicking at the plus button. So we can see that the light blue, for instance, represent parent and children relation. We can remove that by unticking the box. We can further remove any other connections which we are not interested in. But for the sake of the demonstration, we will keep all the connections displayed. So now we are ready to start our search. We can type a specific concept here into the box. Uh, once you type a keyword, it gives you uh, several different options which are related to your keyword. You can therefore select the one which more closely represents what you are interested in. For instance, I'm interested in passive sonar and I click the button find. What it did was that it repositioned the whole semantic network into my concept, which is represented in a center. If I want to select that concept into my query, I double click it. As you can see, it opened a new window, which we call semantic relaxation. In this window, I can specifically add additional concepts into my query, which are related to my passive sonar. So originally I was searching for a sonar, therefore I'm also looking for other types of sonar and I would like to have that kind of information included in my search results. So I add, uh, put, put a one there, which means that I'm also interested in concepts which are parents to my concept which are selected. Therefore they are situated in one hierarchical level higher than my concept. I can also specify if I want to include children of the concept or if I want to include also concepts which are related in any other way. So for instance, I might get some more information which might be interesting if I look at concepts which are related to it in level one. If I am happy with the selection here, the button for And if we minimize the search window, we can see that that information has been added into our query. Let's now have a look at the second search option. It enables us to, ent uh, to enter additional concepts with, uh, from this tech cloud. The size of the text depicts how important that concept is within the marine domain. So for instance, I would like to include in my query resources related to depths. If I want to include it, I just click on the, co on the specific concept. I could also select more than just one. That means that I could also select more than just one concept in the other two search engines as well. So that means in the marine domain ontology search and in the scientific do domain ontology search. So for instance, I would be also interested in the position. Again, I can preview how the query has changed by going back to my preview or query box. As you can see, it includes both of these added concepts. I could also remove it by simply, simply clicking back on the concept and re remove it from our query. But I'll put the concept back to have a bit richer query. 
Now we can minimize that window again, move it to its place, and have a look at the last search engine which this, which this inf interface offers. We can see that this window has got a very similar structure to the marine domain ontology search. However, there is a big difference. While in marine domain ontology search, we are looking at concepts which are specifically related to marine domain, in this window, we can also depict concepts which are related to scientific techniques, methods, models, and theories which are used in different scientific domains. So let's start our search. I'd be looking at concepts related to analysis. So I'll type analysis in our search box. Again, in the same way, lots of different concepts which are related to my keyword has appeared. I'm specifically interested in image analysis. So I select it from the menu and click the button find. In a similar way, the uh, semantic network has moved with the concept image analysis in its center. If I want to select this concept in my query, I double click it again. Again, we'll see this semantic relaxation box, which should be familiar to us right now. So again, I said that I would be interested into analysis as such. So I'll select also concepts which are parents of this particular one. I'm not looking at any children and I'm not looking at any other relation. Thank you by clicking Fight Connected Concepts button. As you can see, the concept has been highlighted. That means that it has been selected into our query. Again, minimize that box, move it aside, and I can preview my query box. So as we can see, within the scientific knowledge ontology list, we have edited two concepts, analysis and image analysis. So we can now minimize our query box. But if you have, for instance, forgotten that we were interested also in additional concepts, we can add them again. So for instance, I'm not only interested in analysis, I'm also interested in models. So I type in, in the query box, model. The one I am particularly interested in is numerical title model, so I'll preview it by clicking find. Again, as you can see, the numerical title model has been added into the center of our window. I double click it. In this case, I'm not really interested in any models which are on a higher hierarchical level or lower hierarchical level than our numerical title model, so I just click at the button and edit into our query. Minimize the box move it again to the side and I can again preview our query box. We can now see that an additional concept have been added into scientific knowledge ontology, which is our numerical title model. We can move again our preview query box back, minimize it. And now we can have a look at the final two search search boxes. The first one is related to timeline. That means that we can further constrain our query within specific dates. We can also constrain our query within a specific geographic area. So for instance, if we are only interested in resources which are related to the Severn Estuary, we can, we can select that particular area into our query. So I'll press shift key and create a bounding box about the area of interest, interest. If we minimize that window again, move it back to the bottom and look back up in our preview query box, you can see that our bounding box has, box has changed. So I can fi preview the final phase of the query. If I am happy with its current form, I can hit the search button and the query will be executed.